Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, if this is your first time seeing me, my name is Chance and I'd like to say basically what I do is I go all over the nation touring all types of homes. We do a lot of like manufactured, I wanna show you a good shot of that. We do a lot of manufactured modular home like what we're looking at here today by Ritzcraft. Uh, but yeah, we are at the 2023 Louisville Manufactured Housing Show. This is a special show. Uh, it's great because there's a lot of homes here that I'm able to tour and show y'all. And if y'all follow the channel pretty closely, y'all do know that uh, I have done several Ritzcraft homes and they build an amazing product. We've got our picture window here. Hey, I learned that from, I learned, I learned, I learned a few things they taught me today as far as their homes and everything. But yeah, I, I've toured a lot of different homes. Y'all remember when I went to Pennsylvania not too long ago, went to their plant there. They got a few different divisions. We'll, we'll talk about a lot of that towards the end so y'all stick around. I want to be brief on the exterior because we're going to head on in. But yeah, man, they got this set up for all the retailers that come in. It's very cool. It's very cool. I'm going to step around because I want to show you one thing on the back and we'll make our way inside the front door. But yeah, let's take a second to look. We have our side door position position there with a let me just let me just get with a light fixture as well. Now, come with me around this way. There's just a little quick look at a few of the other homes. I'll tell you what, let me, a few of the other homes and there's just, this place is massive. This place is is so huge, y'all. I mean, this built, this facility is wild. So yeah, I wanna show you, we got three entryways. We've got a back door, which I'm not looking at the floor plan, but I wanna say it's pretty close to maybe right here in the middle of your home, full glass. We've got another light fixture and electrical outlet on it, beside it more windows there at your kitchen let's see do we have anything over here that we need to look at wow if you want to help us out one thing that really does help us out is if you will like the video sharing the video also helps us a lot if you know somebody that you would like to send this to and don't forget to subscribe and notification bell and it's time for us to head in let's make that happen more light fixtures right here at your front door. It's showtime. Let's go. Today's video is sponsored by Cascade Financial. Cascade has specialized in manufactured home loans since 1999. So whether you're looking to finance the homeowner, both the land and the home together. Cascade has the right program for you. All right, so here we go. Man. Um, if y'all remember, I did several of their homes. I went to their plant, uh, one of their plants in Pennsylvania, and then uh, did some other homes, that designer homes right there, the model center they have close to the plant. But they do an exceptional job at staging their houses, and I... I mean, when you come to look at new models like this, it's really good to see stuff set up. Like, let's take this area, for instance, and then we'll get back in the door. If this table wasn't here and every the chairs and everything, it'd be kind of hard to picture that, right? So with everything staged exactly like it should look, it just really helps me be able to talk about the homes and all that. Let's start out with the living room. And I want to give you a shot of this flooring. Now, just check out the channel. Like I said, I've done several of their homes. You can see tons of different flooring that they offer, tons of different countertops and all that. We got this area right here, your electric fireplace, as you can tell. And this is all together here. And you can see how big, let me, let me step back. Y'all hang, hang with me, hang with me. Here we go, there we go. That's the shot I'm trying to get right there. Yes. <laughs> Don't wanna get too close. That's the, I think it's the first time I've ever tried to uh, film a ceiling fan that was actually running. Also, I like that they have their flooring in here, but then they have this rug. Uh, just makes it real cozy. I forgot to show y'all this. I'm sorry. Let's step back over here and let me show you our coat closet that we have. I see in the comment section all the time, y'all love coat closets. All right, let's step over into the kitchen. 
get a good look at it. We've got these really nice countertops. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll try to provide a lot more information for y'all. Um, we've got, wow, this is beautiful. What, what is that? Look at all the electrical outlets that we have right here. Three different really nice windows. Let's get a shot here at our kitchen faucet. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. There's a faucet in the uh, utility room. Y'all definitely gonna wanna see. It's cool. I've never seen anything like it. Okay. We've definitely got the nice island. We've got some outlets on the end of it as well. We've kind of taken a look at that. Is there anything else in this kitchen that I haven't shown y'all? Hadn't shown you the built-in microwave. Whirlpool appliances. We've got some more of the backsplash over here as well. Yep, now I think I've shown you everything, right? Is there any, is there anything in this tour that I haven't shown you? <laughs> okay, it's this. <laughs> this, oh man, let's just, let's go. All right, I gotta tell y'all, I have not been in here, but um, I remember touring their homes at their plant and I knew they set their pantries up really nice. Of course, you've got the Ritz crackers. I mean, it's only right, but yeah, I was expecting this as well. But this is definitely a walk-in pantry, lots of room. You can't go wrong with a, uh, a beautiful pantry. You gotta have it, you gotta have it, right? Now, uh, let me quickly take you back down here. I know we did get just a quick look at this earlier, but I wanna, uh, man, I know I'm gonna butcher this. I'm sorry, y'all, if I, if I do, but I believe you call this a banquette. A banquette? Sounds right, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, y'all know me, I always just share what I'm thinking, which can be a, a bad thing, I know. But think about it. If this was scooted out and you had to put chairs here, then you're gonna lose space right here. And Cullen would love that. Like when we go out and eat stuff, he always wants to get a booth, he wants to sit on something like that. So he, he would love that. And it, and it just, you just, you're able to use more and more space. Full glass back door. Now let's go down this way. We've got a nice storage closet here. Now they're probably gonna have some stuff in their closet, so y'all just look past that, but this home will be here for a few days and then it's gonna be moved as well, so like this area, but I've gotta show it to you because this is where uh, you can have your basement uh, if you if you want a higher roof, roof pitch for your stairs and all that. Uh, so yeah, ease on back this way. We got a few bedrooms and a bath. Let's walk into the first bedroom of the tour. Once again, Cullen would love this. Y'all, if y'all watch the channel closely and y'all seen my son a lot, y'all, I mean, you know he loves dinosaurs. Actually, as I'm recording this, uh, Caitlin and him and her mom, they went on a little trip to Birmingham and uh, they're doing all kind of animal type stuff, but huge animal fan. He would love this room. This is, this is an ideal kid's room for sure. We will step across. We've got uh, some different color cabinets in here, and then we have a lot of storage. Soft closed cabinets. We have the shower tub combo here. Let me make a quick turn. Same flooring is gonna continue, uh, well, carpet in the bedrooms. Now let's check out this bedroom. Obviously, they'll have a lot of literature and stuff going on that TV here at the show, but this could be another kid's room. Uh, this could be 
Fellas, this could be the getaway room. I mean, if you need that, <laughs> not saying I do. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> uh, <sighs> As y'all know, I know I'm sharing a lot about my family and y'all are like, I'm here to look at a house, man. But... I know some of y'all do like to keep up with the fam, so, yep, we are, yeah, as y'all know, we got another child on the way. There's that faucet. I'm going to show you that. We have another child on the way, and so things are starting to get real around the house is all I'm saying. Spot for your washer and your dryer. This is that side door we looked at on the exterior. Got another uh, hanger here for some coats as well. And look, you've got a great amount of space in this utility room. This home really has that modern, uh, you know, look, and it is 2023, so it's great to see the bucket list travel to Rome. Okay, y'all doing some big stuff. Wait a minute, buy a house. I see what you, and they're keeping the dino. I'm, mm. Caitlin, if you're watching, you need to show color in this. Now, here's what I was talking about. Check this out. I've never seen this in my life, but what you can do is you can move this. Let me give you some different angles so you can see. Um, just, you know, I was telling them, like, I could see where that's very, very beneficial because sometimes uh, we have one of these in our uh, utility room, and if you're, like, trying to clean some boots or something, it's hard to get them down in there and then, you know, under the faucet as well. So, so yeah, I believe that's pretty cool, and it, and it really, it also continues on with that really modern look as well we've seen pretty much everything down on this end of the home right y'all okay we'll step out and what we'll do is we'll take us a left we look at these bedrooms this bath all of that we got the banquette goodness gracious i hope i'm saying that right and i'm gonna head into the main bedroom yeah, I really didn't give y'all much of a shot of this furniture, but it's beautiful. Walk into the main bedroom. Went with carpet in here. A lot of be beautiful windows in here. So very nice. Let's uh, ease into the closet. Now, things are going to start getting a little interesting in this bath. Trust me. Uh, the, the layout of it is, um, well, there's not another house here that has it, I can tell you that. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen anything like it. Not exactly. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. We, as you can see, we got a standalone tub here. But what I want to start with is these double sinks. Yep, next up we'll look at the uh, standalone tub. There's a pretty good shot for you. But we also have another door right here that goes into where the shower is at, and that's where we're gonna finish things up. But that's nice, right? You can shut that off if you need to. We're about to look at the shower first. Let me show you this. And here is the shower. I've never seen uh, this right here in this like this matte black. I've seen it in your silver a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen it in, in your matte black. Looks great. I mean, obviously it matches the rest of everything else in the shower and then even in there in the tub as well. 
And it goes, it also really complements with this white tile. I'm personally not crazy. Like I like the tile that doesn't have too many veins in it. So uh, this, this looks really good in my personal opinion. And I know some people that are totally the opposite. So, you know, depends on exactly what you want, but all in all, you got the shower, you got the tub, you got double sinks, you got a pantry, you got very nice upgraded countertops, you got the banquet, uh, and you got the fireplace, you got everything. Y'all stick around, we'll get some more information on this house, but I will say, if you haven't dropped a like, I'm gonna ask you to do that once more. Don't forget to subscribe and notification bell, and share this video if you will. Hey everyone, let's get into the outro, and I'm sorry I'm having to be a little quiet because Cullen, well, just look at this. <laughs> Actually, he's been sleeping for quite a while. He needs to go ahead and get up because he's got stuff to do. He's got horses, horse stalls to clean. Uh, he's got room. He's got toys to pick up. He's got, I mean, I make him do a... <laughs> kidding he's so precious laying there i mean he looks so innocent right he's not so let's get into information let me say first of all what i'm thinking about if you hadn't seen any of the other other homes from that show just go to the channel you'll see any of the thumbnails where it looks like the house is inside of a building like that those all those homes are brand new models and on top of that we have over 600 different tours on the channel of all types of different manufacturers and I'm talking single-wise, double-wise, triple-wise, manufactured, modular homes, tiny houses. You can even check out some of the playlists. I'll have some information in the description. This model is called the Amber. Uh, just keep in mind that this house, actually, I'll get into that in just a second. Let me say we have our, we have a few links in the description. We have our website link. It's set up if you want to get in contact with someone, see about getting yourself financed and pre-approvals and all that. Plus our members area where we take a deep dive and I'll kind of jump into the computer, not jump in, I'll kind of show you some things from the computer that we don't get to cover here on the videos of all the homes that I tour, plus just exclusive looks at content and places we're going and got stuff we got coming up and all that. So you can find those links in the description and the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, which means our next video will be Thursday night. That'll be the month of March. Can you believe it's already March? Goodness gracious, it's March already. Let's get it, let's talk about some pricing on this house. Now, if you remember when I toured some of the houses at their plant, Pennsylvania, uh, basically they have two different divisions. Let me say this as brief as I possibly can. They got a Northeast division in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. They have a Midwest division, which is in Jonesville, Michigan. Okay, so they have basically two different plants, two different areas. They cover a huge part of the country. I mean, they've got all the way in your northeast, all the way up to like Maine, I believe. And then if you get in your Midwest, they go all the way over. I'm not exactly sure far how west, but they they cover a wide a wide variety of areas. So with that being said, when I did those houses there, they weren't able to provide any pricing. And so you know what, I didn't even ask them about this particular model just because I figured it was the same case. They build these homes in so many different areas. Plus these are modular homes that's got to be set up on a uh, foundation. So therefore, I don't have any pricing for you. Okay, what they told me there in Pennsylvania is they're these house, houses are pretty much built about as much as a site built house. A site built house is built, except they're built inside of a facility, and on top of that, they're built a lot faster. Okay, think about it. if you're waiting to get a house built. I mean, right now it's crazy how long it takes to get a site built house built. So hopefully that'll give you a good idea. Just kind of figure what uh you know building is going for in your area, and then you kind of have a good idea what something like this is this goes for per dollar square foot. Uh, but yeah, if I do get any type of pricing, they just provide me something along the way, I'll drop it in the comment section. So be sure to check that out if you want to, and I'll pin it to the top. So if I do have anything, I'll have it in there. Okay, I'm gonna head out. The next video will be Thursday night. Uh, just keep in mind that if you don't watch it, you know, I'm not gonna say you're gonna have a bad week. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I'm trying everything I possibly can to get y'all to watch every single tour. Like, 
I want y'all to put alarms on your phone. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Check out another tour if you hadn't got enough of Chance's Home World. And y'all stay safe. God bless you all. And I'll see you Thursday night. See y'all.